Hello YouTube, Freddy Cardona here. Welcome back to another Pride in Patterson video. We're here on Madison Street and Morton Street. We're gonna show you the Sandy Hill section. I'm not very familiar with this neighborhood, but wanted to show it to you. I've, I've gotten requests I don't know what this building is on the left. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments below. I don't see any signage. There is a J&R mini market there on the corner. And this is the corner of Essex Street. I would like to say that this is gonna be a comprehensive tour, but I don't know if I'm gonna actually get to all the streets in this neighborhood. But I want to show you as many as I can. Still on Madison Street. I hope I am in the correct section here when it comes to, ooh, bumpage. When it comes to Sandy Hill. Ooh, ah, ooh. We're crossing Oak Street. I know some folks might say, oh, you didn't go past my house there in the Sandy Hill section. You didn't go up my street. So let me apologize ahead of time. We're crossing Cedar Street. I figure I'll show some of the, uh, more of the main roads. I mean, eventually I'm gonna show all the streets in Patterson, right? Because I do have a plan of featuring every single street on my channel. Okay, proceed with caution. Very good. We're coming up on 21st Avenue. Proceed with caution. I should put that in a, in a, on a t-shirt. We're gonna make a left on Beach Street. If you've lived in, the, in this neighborhood, and if you lived in one of the streets that I'm featuring today, let us know in the comments below. Sandy Hill. I believe this is the fifth ward. Ouch. Ooh, ow. I'm going to need a wheel alignment after this. St. Anthony's Church is there on the left. If you went there, let us know. St. Anthony's Church. Yeah, I never really spent any time in this neighborhood, so I'm driving blind. I'll need you folks to let me know your memories, what was good in the neighborhood. I did go to School 15. Bowley Grocery there on the right. Oh, oh. Passaic County News Company there on the left. Don't know if that's, doesn't look like that's active anymore. We've got that red brick building on the left. Still don't know what that was. Okay, proceed with caution. Thank you. Now 
nice buildings here on the right. Crossing Martin Street. Watch out, little doggy. Watch out, little doggy. He's a cutie. We're gonna go back on Market Street. We have school, the old school 11 here on the right hand side. That's now the Great Falls Academy. Also, Alonzo Tambua Moody Academy. Here on the corner of Summer and Market. We're going to go down this section of Summer Street to the right. Gee, I, I hope I'm in the right spots. I'm hitting the right spots. That, th that this is all Sandy Hill. Yeah, this has this had been requested by a subscriber, several subscribers actually, a while back. And I just couldn't get to these streets because I was doing the Ave and the East. The Ave numbered streets, like 1st Ave, 2nd Ave, 5th Ave. And then the East streets, like East 23rd, East 30th, and, and so forth and so on. So I was just not able to get to this area. But I've always planned it. It was always in the back of my mind that these are the areas I need to hit for the channel. I like that the car in front of me is going slow. It gives me an opportunity to drive slow so that you guys can see your own stomping grounds crossing Essex Street. Got Paulino Grocery there on the left. Crossing Oak Street. Over on the other side, there to my left, is School 15. On the left, I see a sign on a building that says St. Anthony's Catholic Men's Club. It looks like an old sign. I don't know if that's still what that is, but that sign is on the building. A lot of times when, when you're going through the city, you're gonna see you're gonna see signs on a building, and sometimes those signs are old and is not what what's actually in the building. So you never know. Can't make a right on this block here, so we're gonna make a right. I mean, you can't make a left, so we're gonna make a right. All right, we'll see you back on the other side. We're here on Chestnut Street now, with those iconic stairs up ahead to the right, leading up to the uh, School 15 grounds, the playground, and the school itself. going up cedar up, up. going to make a right on summer again Be very careful we're going to go up here and make a right on market street to show you the church that's a very iconic church in this neighborhood and I didn't mention that when I did a Market Street video and I was kind of criticized for not mentioning it 
Kathy's Court, Patterson Hope. Oh, that was a big, that was a deep hole right there. But the truth is, not being from this neighborhood, I wasn't familiar with, with many of the landmarks. I mean, I did know about the church, but I, I never had any interactions with it. And I don't remember what I was doing when I was driving up Market Street showing different things. But, you know, I try to tell folks that I'm not a professional tour guide. I'm just, I'm a human being that just loves Patterson and I'm not perfect. I may miss things from time to time. And I always say, you know, it's fine. I mean, I don't mind criticism as long as it's coming from a kind place. I'm much more receptive when once someone says, hey, I noticed you went past a certain church and you didn't mention it. And, you know, just wanted to say that, you know, this is a church that, that was very important to us. A lot of people have come to this church. And it's this one right here. Check it out. Back here on Market Street, of course. At the old east side, got the east side high school there on the left. Yeah, as I was saying, I had gotten criticized for not mentioning St. Joseph's Church there on the left in the prior Market Street video. I was so hyper-focused on east side high school that I got tunnel vision. You got Southern Street. We passed Sealy Street back there. Wanted to show you the other section of Rosa Parks Boulevard. I can't, that's a one way. On the left there was the site of the old armory. I'm gonna show you Pennington Street here. I'm gonna make that right on Pennington. Show you a little more. I hope I'm still in the Sandy Hill section. I'm sure you guys will let me know if I'm not. But my intentions are good. I hope I showed a few good streets here in Sandy Hill Park, Sandy Hill section, I should say. We're gonna make a right on Oak Street. Again, just wanted to remind everyone, I am not a professional tour guide. There may have been things that I missed. Let's make this left on Dover Street. Yeah, there, I'm sure there are streets that I missed in the Sandy Hill section. But I did want to show you some of the main, the, mo the more main thoroughfares here see how I am I'm trying to please I aims to please what's this street called what is this Cedar Street yep Cedar Street with the entrance in the back there with access to the senior citizens home That's Martin Street there on the right. That's a one way. I can't go up that way. And you've got Lewis Street here on the left. L-E-W-I-S. Lewis Street. You've got Reborn Deliverance Center Incorporated there on the right.
I'm gonna head, nope, let me go up one more street here since we already showed you Dover. Oh, big pothole. Careful, careful. This is Martin Street, Martin. I did a hard pronunciation on the T, Martin. In acting class, they always tell you to pronounce the hard T as opposed to saying Martin. In normal conversation, you would say Martin Street. But when you're acting and what you're saying is being projected on the microphone, you have to enunciate and you would say Martin. Yeah, we went on to Martin Street. And it's specifically apropos when you end in a word that ends in T, you just don't say, I'm going to see that. In normal conversation, you would know, I'm going to see that. But if you're delivering your lines, the dialogue should read, I'm going to see that. So you have to pronounce that T. I mentioned that in another video, I believe. So we are here on Cedar now. Cedar. So yeah, thank you guys for joining me on this little tour of Sandy Hill area. I appreciate all the suggestions. I don't know when I'm actually going to leave the, the Sandy Hill section. I'm sure you guys will let me know. In the meantime, I'll just add some extra footage for Patterson, New Jersey. And we're going to take the iconic Madison Avenue with fire apparatus. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next Pride in Patterson video.